This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with the Toast to the Men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the Men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Hey, Wednesdays. Wednesdays with Yaya, my beautiful, lovely, intelligent wife, Yaya. How you doing, baby? I'm good. Good. Thanks. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Now, Healing the Child Within Part 2. Obviously, there's a part two that had to be a part one. Part one would not be on YouTube. It will only be on anchor.com. And uh, you can also find it on Spotify and Apple Music. That is Healing the Child Within, part one. And uh, audio only. It's only going to be on the podcast. Part two would be on the podcast and uh, also YouTube, IG, TikTok. So, sure. Healing the Child Within. Um, we got deep on the part one. Uh I want to expound on that. And we said everyone has this child with them. Uh, this child with them, some are healthier than others. Some are more damaged than others. Some are darker. Some shine more light than others, mm -hmm. depending mm -hmm. how we deal and manage the child and what we've experienced mm -hmm. and how we dealt with those experiences. Now, my belief is a lot of us hide that darkness hide that child within and it's a form of deception and fraud to me and we connect with people and then it comes out eventually uh, because it's going to come out and the worst part of it is when you don't deal with that child within or you're not straight up what you've been through straight up about what you've been through is when kids are created you pro procreate Children come into play, and now you got a bunch of mess going on now. Mm -hmm. And then those children can potentially carry that yeah. same mess mm -hmm. on and within their children and their children's mm -hmm. children. That's the sad part. That's the dangerous part of it all. So do you think it's the responsibility of a person to dig deep and, and, and learn your inner child? And once they learn it and figure it out or it's exposed, take steps to trying to heal it? No, I don't think it's that person's responsibility. Um, but I do think it's a conversation that needs to be had in the beginning. Um, you know, in the past, we have simple conversations about, do you like movies? Do you like walks in the park? Do you, you know, right. okay, all this. Right. Good. Generic busy. stuff. Yes. Yeah, so I think at this point, those conversations need to be had early. The deeper conversations, the deeper questions need to be asked in the beginning. Yeah, I mean, I've had, in my past, I've had uh, I've had women tell me, and maybe you felt this way too, like, why, why are you psychoanalyzing me? Mm. <laughs> you feel like I psychoanalyzed? A little bit. Yeah, yeah, but I'd be wanting to know who I'm dealing with. Yeah. But I agree. That's some, That's a conversation that needs to be had in the beginning. You don't want to find out this stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's the thing. I want to know who I'm dealing with. Uh, and then after finding out who I'm dealing with, what you've been through or what you're going through, do I have what it takes to deal with that? Right? Mm -hmm. Because... I may not be equipped to deal with it, or I may be on to a different level of my life right. to where I'm past dealing with that kind of stuff. Right. And it's, I think it's important for both parties, male and female, because the the, the man can have some issues too. Yeah, no doubt. That no doubt. We're talking about both sexes. Yeah, uh, that the woman... Um, you know, especially if she has children. Right. You know, she may may 
you know, think twice about his issues and see if there's something that her children need to be around. You know, it's just right. Right. And, and you know, when you get with people, especially when they have children, right? Mm -hmm. And then they work out with the father or fathers. When you talk to these people, I'm from a man perspective, when you talk to women, most women only say the bad side of the man of why the relationship didn't work. Mm -hmm. They don't say anything bad about themselves. Mm -hmm. Right? They just say it didn't work. And they showcase, they highlight the bad things in the ex, why it didn't work. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is, y'all were drawn to each other for some kind of reason, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, right? right? Even if the person woman wants to say he was deceiving and you didn't know certain things, that still was drawn to you. Something in you drew that to him. Yeah. For you to be gullible mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But I I I've rarely ran across a woman who says the negative part she played in it. Why the relationship didn't work. Mm -hmm. um, so you got to dig deep. And so a question I think a lot of brothers need to ask. And women can ask this too. I know women tune in. But. A brother. Brothers need to ask. <laughs> what negative thing. Would your spouse say about you. Or would you mind me, would you mind, not saying what happened, but theoretically, would you mind uh, me speaking to your your your, your spouse, ex-spouse, as a reference on you? I think most women will say no. Mm, I don't, I don't to speak to the ex? You think most women would agree to that? To speak to the ex. Mm -hmm. I think that what's what what reason would we have not to? Well, I just said there's a reason because most women are not saying the negative side of what they brought to the relationship. They're just telling on the man. And if you ask them, what's the negative thing he will say about you? Many of them are going to give these job interview answers. I was too nice. I was too giving. But if that man is not. If he's if his maturity level is not there, he's gonna say negative about her. He's gonna. That's okay. And, That's and okay. Won't, won't and say, you know won't what? Say anything about himself. And you know what? That's okay. I'm not dating him. I'm not pursuing him. He ain't pursuing me. But what can happen out of that is, my discernment can pull out the truth of what both of them are saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Because mm -hmm. both are telling the truth. And both are fudging also. And both are probably being over dramatic. Right? Mm -hmm. So here both sides, I pull out what's real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? I just don't believe he's telling all truth. I don't believe he's telling all lie. <laughs> I don't believe she's telling all truth. I don't believe she's telling all lie. <laughs> right? Right. But that's a good baseline to start with. And I don't think most people are going to let you talk to the ex one-on-one. -on -one. I just don't believe so. So we hide these inner children, this inner child, mm -hmm. and uh, we just carry on this pain, this deception, and continue to procreate. Um, do you think we get to a point where that child is totally healed? Or that you think it's, it's going to be Something that uh, we constantly got to work on and be cognizant of until we die. This inner child. So what? Ask that again. Do you think this inner child is ever healed? Mm -hmm. Or you think it's something we got to be cognizant of or aware of and constantly work on? No, it's not going to. I mean, it, it can be addressed with with um you know that that person that female that male may need to talk to somebody to heal their inner child i don't think it's 
I don't think it's something that has to be connected with us for eternity. Okay. All right. All right. So, do you think you healed your inner child? And faced it. Do you think you faced it? I healed it. I think I faced it. Um, and I think I'm still healing it. Okay. Okay. I don't think there's an age limit on it. Okay. I don't think there's an age limit on it. It's a process, you know. It's a process, but uh, yeah, yeah. And I and like in the first in part one, you know, I mentioned that uh, young lady I was dating looked at me one time and, and just was like, I guess after listening to a few of my life stories, or whatever, because mm -hmm. uh, I'm always telling stories. That's what I do. <laughs> she was like, you know what, but no woman has ever left you. You've always left them. And I didn't think about it until she said that. And I was like, wow, that, that's true. And then I started digging deeper as to why is that. And uh, yeah, to get that answer, go check out part one. But as we were talking, you and I were talking, it made me think of something else she said. And she said, you know, just listening to you, like you, you can find, you, you're able to find beauty in every woman. You know, she's like, that doesn't mean you would date every woman. And I surely would not. I surely haven't. But I think I could find something beautiful in every woman. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even know why that is. You know, mm -hmm. uh, have you noticed that? That you can find something beautiful in every woman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about what that is? What's that about? Um, I just saw it as you just looking at... Uh, um, thinking deeper right. than what is presented to you on the surface. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, and that doesn't mean uh, you have to, that I've dated, you know, that doesn't mean there's attraction, right? Right. It's non-sexual. What I find that's beautiful. But I think every woman has something beautiful to bring. I think that's what brings beauty to the world is the woman. Men bring order, discipline, structure. I think women bring that that those those wrinkles of beauty, uh, surprise, kind of unbalanced. Never know what to expect. You know, mm -hmm. it brings life. You know. Life isn't, and birth isn't a smooth process. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Birth isn't a smooth process. And, but once it's f fully formulated and comes out, that's a beautiful being. And so, but once you can get past all the other stuff. Right. Yeah. And so I think that's what women bring. So, you know, I can appreciate Different things in different women. But, uh, yeah, man, that inner child is something. But we, we got to heal it. We got to work on it. And we got to start facing our demons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when a brother like me is asking things, trying to get to see what's up with you, you can't be saying, why are you psychoanalyzing me? But that draws flags right there for you to be on well, guard like well, that. Well, a lot of times before she's even met you, she's already heard from several men prior to you that same issue. You well, I'm not even accusing her of an issue. I'm just asking questions. Why? Or, or your childhood. I ask a lot about childhoods. Because mm -hmm. I think that's where the answers lie. That's where, that's where it lies, that childhood. So I ask a lot about childhoods. But even with my uh, uh, guys, mm -hmm. I befriend. Or I feel like, man, this guy, man, we're going to be close. You know, I want to know who this guy is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I ask different things about his childhood, dig deep, or and just listen. Now, I'm, I won't ask him in the same way I would ask a woman, but I want to know who yeah, I'm dealing with. <laughs> 
Right. Mm -hmm. I want to know mm -hmm. who I'm dealing with, mm -hmm. and and that'll let me know how this person's gonna react in different situations. Different situations, yeah. how you roll, your character, yeah. your moral fiber, your scruples. Mm -hmm. If 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 they're intact, right. uh, do I have the patience or the experience to deal with it? Right. Uh, do I want to deal with it? Right. Am I in a place in my life where I want to deal with that? Or right. or am I past that? So I need to know all that right. before that I find sense. out later. It's like, man, yeah. this I shouldn't even be connected to this brother. Exactly. Or I shouldn't even been dating her. Mm -hmm. or, or I shouldn't have married her. So, yeah, I dig deep. Mm -hmm. I want to know that child. Yeah. Because that child is up in there. That's going to tell me everything I need to know. Mm -hmm. So I asked you a bunch of questions, I'm sure, about your childhood. No, I don't it wasn't like a like an interview. No, it, it wasn't an interview. Out, it, it, yeah, it, it wasn't. Different, a, different yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm smoother than that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying it wasn't an interview. Oh. But I'm drawing out. <laughs> I'm drawing out. I'm asking. You know what I'm saying? In my own way. Yeah. I'm finding out certain things about your childhood, mm -hmm. and so. uh yeah, brothers, and, and the sisters that are tuned in, deal with that inner child. Be alone. Be alone. Get to know yourself. I talk to myself. You catch me talking to myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Smart people like to talk to smart people. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I talk to myself a lot. But, you know... uh, just learning, figuring it out. Yeah. You know, and uh, that's all right. I don't answer myself, but I do, I do talk to myself. I don't think I, I don't answer think I've heard you answer. No, myself. I don't answer myself. Mm -mm. But uh, I talk, I talk to myself. But uh, yeah, get to know yourself. So that's what's going to take us to another level as a people, as a culture, knowledge yourself. Get to know you, deal with you, and make sure that person has dealt with them before y'all connect. Right. And y'all may be able to connect, be equally yoked, and figure that, figure that thing out together and learn together. But man, have knowledge of self before you start procreating. And ladies, don't get offended if there are, if, if he is a guy like this one. Mm -hmm. who ask a lot of questions and uh, force you to pull from childhood issues or old um, problems that you haven't solved. Don't be embarrassed. Address them. It's time to, it's time to heal yourself. Yeah. I don't care what age it is. If, and, and just, just um, be acceptable of the fact that you have someone who's tuned in to you to want to know those things and to help you bring and heal those things, those issues. So right. don't be afraid to touch on those. Right. Actually, it's a, I think it's a blessing for someone to be that into you, to care. Or to have that much patience. To have that much patience, to want to know you. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's another level of interest mm -hmm. above sex or beauty, outside beauty. Right. When they're actually trying to get to know you. Mm -hmm. Now, on the flip side, you know, uh, study that person, too, because you'll know if that person wants this information to hurt you or to... Uh, right. Now, that's another thing. Yeah, to hurt you or or to, to, to vibe and right. coexist with you. She has to be able to trust that man because you, you have some people out here that take your personal information, throw it back in your face, mm -hmm. and it's... Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, that's yeah. that's hurtful. Yeah, and and you know, men and women have been through that, yeah. and that caused them to put up their guards. Right. So hey, it could be tricky. Yeah. But it could be even more trickier if you ain't dealt with that inner child, exactly. and then you connect with another person, right. and man, it could get crazy. Right. And y'all know this, man. Y'all, most guys, I look at my analytics. Most people watching this are between 35 and 50. So y'all have probably been through this stuff. Right. That's the one step. That's the first step of knowing. The second step, taking action. 
<laughs> on dealing with it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, put in that work. Do what you got to do. Uh, yeah, do that work, man. Yeah. Put in that shadow work. Right. Deal with that darkness. Right. All right. As always, from me to you, from us to you, love, peace. peace.